Hey everybody, welcome back to Minor Stuff. I'm Matt. I'm Pat. We're, we're the Minor, Minor Brothers. Brothers. Uh, today we're getting into our 2023 uh, Reddit challenge that we are challenged by the Everyday Drinker for. So let's get into it. Alright, welcome back everybody. Before we get started, please subscribe to the channel, like this video. In the comments down below, let us know what your five are for the Reddit challenge. Uh, we love seeing what you guys come up with. It's fantastic. Also, please check us out over on Patreon. We have the Discord going over there now. Where we're going to be we're doing some live stuff, getting some samples out to people. we got a lot of stuff going on over there, so please check us out over on Patreon as well. Matt, before we get into our Reddit challenge list, what are we drinking today? So we are drinking some good old... Um, Four Roses, single barrel, barrel strength, and this thing is just absolutely killing it at 114.4 proof. Um, it's a bottle. It's, it's just, it's so, there's so much great flavor to it. Um, it's, it's one we don't get that often up here, but luckily we're able to get it. I feel like, like it's so five. underrated too. I think it is just because it's, I think it's harder to find. And once you find them, people buy them up. Like in the state of New Hampshire, some guy spent $2,100 and bought the entire store out of them. And did we get any? Not a single one. So it, it happens. Um, but anyways, that's what we're drinking today, and it's it's a really, really good pour. Oh, fantastic drink. All right, Pat. So we were challenged by the Everyday Drinker. So if you guys haven't seen his channel, go check his channel out. He's got some great content as well um, to sort of revisit the Reddit challenge. Yes. Now, the Reddit challenge was that you really only need five bottles. You need something that's going to be a daily drinker that's easy to get. Um, something you can go to basically any store, pick up pretty cheap. Yep. You want a second bottle that's going to be to impress your guests. All right. Then the third one's going to be a mixer. After the <coughs> mixer, you need a Friday night special, which and the last one is a special occasion, mm -hmm. which is just your cel celebratory bottle. So Pat, why don't you start us off with our daily drinker? All right. So my daily one that I, you guys, if you've been watching us for any time, you know we love um, a lot. Woodford Reserve Double Oat. I mean, it's just killer juice um toasted barrel which is fantastic there's so much flavor in it uh it's easy to find which is another great thing about it um i was i was torn between going with this in 1910 but i feel like i like this one a little bit more than than mm, old yeah. forester um the flavors i think is just a little bit the traditional flavors are a little bit more there in this one than they are in the 1910 yep right on I went with the good old Hunter Proof from Old Forester. I mean, this thing is a slamming bottle, $25 usually. Mm -hmm. um, it's got the great classic sort of Old Forester notes. So you get a little bit of the banana, a uh, little bit of the, you know, vanilla, caramels, oak. But the nice thing is, is it's, it's a very smooth, easy sipping drink that's great for mixing, great for sipping, great for basically anything. And you know what, right now it's been what I've sort of been heading to just for the, you know, the, eh, I don't know what I want to drink today, let's just sort of do this. All right. Um, let's see, our next category was impress a guest. Yes. So, there is a bottle that everybody getting into bourbon wants to get. True story. Doesn't matter how good the juice is on the inside, anything like that, it's all got to do with the bottle and the name. The juice on the and inside is good though. It is, it is, it's fantastic. So what we're talking about, we're talking about Blanton's. The horsey on the top, the shape of the bottle, the design, everything is something that impresses people when you get it because they are hard to get. Um, so it's something that people are still, they see it and they're in awe. They say, oh my God, it's, 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 you well, know, they've been Blends. hunting it for a year or two and they've never found, found it. it. Yep. Yeah, exactly. So I personally love Blanton's. I think it is absolutely delicious. The flavor is perfect. I, I, I'm a huge Buffalo Trace mash bill person anyways. Yep. Um, so I think, you know, this absolutely kills it flavor wise um but to impress somebody with it's my go-to bottle because they're gonna see it and they're gonna be like oh my god you actually have a blanton's yep my impression guest one luckily we were able to stock up on a couple extras remus repeal five. Oh, that's good stuff because the juice on the inside of this thing is just freaking wow yeah so people that don't really know a lot about bourbon they're like oh remus you know maybe never heard about it whatever once they drink this though they're just wowed and and I think all of us in the bourbon community were wowed when this came out. Yep. Because it's got a lot of really old juice in it, really good tasting stuff. Um, and this was just this bottle was a hitter. Luckily, we were able to get some backups. Yeah. And uh, that's why that I pulled this out to sort of impress some people. 
All right, next one we're gonna go with a mixer. So for a mixer, you're gonna want something a little proofy because you wanna, you know, when it gets watered down, you still wanna have that, um, kick, that to it. kick to it. But you also want it to be cheap because again, you're mixing it. You don't want it to be something special. So I went with Old Granddad 114. Proofed great, so that way no matter how much you, you, you mix it down, it's still gonna be there. You're still gonna get the flavor, everything that you need out of it, the hit. Um, and it's it's so cheap. I mean, that's the best thing about it. So uh, a little harder for us to find up here. We have a couple honey holes. We can yep, easily get it. Find it. Um, and you can see this is a brand new bottle because we've been using it the other one so much. Yeah. All right. My go-to is it's real easy. Wild Turkey 101. You know, I I was thinking about mixing rare breed. Mm. Thinking about mixing bullet rye. Um, just like a whole bunch of mixing possibilities. However. I just feel like this is the classic. It's, you know, 20 something dollars. You get that high rye spice to it. It's a staple. Um, yeah, and at the 101 proof, it's not overly proof, but it's not it's not some 90 that's gonna get washed away out in mm -hmm. whatever you're mixing with. I think just the classic bourbon notes help take whatever cocktail you're mixing up to a next level. And it's super cheap, super affordable. You can't really go wrong. And always good daily sipper. Oh, always. Um, next category was Friday, Friday night, night special. Okay, yep. Friday night special. Friday night special. I went with OKI Reserve. I'm I mean, actually a little nervous. We're almost we're almost tapping out this bottle. Right yeah, here. we're getting low on that one, and luckily we were able to get a, you know we got a couple of spares, um, but those are just about gone as well. So start worrying, Matt. Um, no, this this bottle is the flavor in it is absolutely unreal. Um, you get a lot of that like stone fruit. You get the orange peel, um, caramel, a little cinnamonness in there. Um, the flavors are awesome. I mean, it's just a good bottle of MGP. And it's a really good. I think bottle. it's what hundred proof or something to yeah, that effect. Proof. Yeah, I mean, come on, it's just. It's just a, a, a great bottle. I know this one's been hit or miss for a lot of people, but this one for our palates, it really water palates. It did a little yeah. dance on there. It was absolutely phenomenal. Yep, I absolutely loved it. So, what do you got, Matt? Mine, I've got some good old Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. This one's coming in at 131.9 proof. And I will tell you, these things are always freaking hitters. They are just delicious this is so far away from the normal jack this thing is i guarantee a good pour up here they just sit on the shelves all day long at like i think it's about 60 bucks or something like that 60 bucks for a great drink drink it neat drink it on the rocks whatever you want it just pows pows you with flavor you know this one actually surprised me that you picked this and you jumped over your old forester uh single barrel barrel strength yeah, I, it was back and forth between it. I mean, the single barrel battle strengths are going to be harder for other people to get. And I think that's why I ended up going this way because, I mean, the old Forester single barrels are well, like. Isn't the this best. about what you do, not everybody mm -hmm. else? Well, it is with me and with everybody else. Because yeah. between the two of the bottles, I really go back and forth. Mm. I've only got six, I think six bottles left. Yeah, I've only got six bottles left. So oh, those have to last six. me a year. <laughs> That's like danger close, okay? <laughs> That's hard. How can I get a year out of six bottles? Oh. I don't know. All I know is i got to try to find a way to get more. But that's why I go to this so much. Because I can't always go to that one. I end up going to that one. I'd almost put the other one into more of a special occasion bottle, mm -hmm. um, just because, like I said, once they're gone, I can't get more unless I want to pay secondary, and I don't really want to pay secondary. I mean, there's no reason to pay $150 or more for those for the old Forrester ones. They're yeah. good. I just want to put them at that good. All right, Matt. Let's wind it down with our special occasion one. Yep. Um, still, I think, one of the best juices I've ever had. Oh my goodness, absolutely. Joe Magnus Cigar Blend. Nancy the Nose killed it. Killed it. Absolutely. absolutely. So we luckily we've gotten a couple bottles where we could maybe make this more than a special occasion, but it's I just don't want to risk it. I mean, it it is so yummy. Um, the citrus notes, everything in it, fruit wise. I mean, it just it takes your palate on this crazy ride. There's so much flavor. I don't it's, understand. It's a roller coaster I, of a journey yeah. for for flavor. This I one don't understand just... how they can get that much flavor. And into every it. bottle, it's like you get different batches. All the batches are 
full out different. Yeah. But they're all great. That's the thing that I love the most is no matter what, it's not going to be the exact same drink every time. But no matter what, you know it's going to be a good drink. You know what we should be doing is a cigar blend uh, battle. Because we have enough bottles now. Yeah, we get like, I think five now, yeah. We could probably end up doing that, see which batch rains right. out. Yeah. So you know what's hard, Pat? I also was almost going to pick that, and then I ended up going stag. And the problem is, is I think that we will sort of go back and forth no matter what it's going to be. Mm -hmm. um, like you had a kid, we went with the cigar blend. Yep. Um, on my birthday, I went with stag. You know what I mean? It's sort of like back and forth between these two bottles as our basically our top two bottles that we sort of have right now that we're drinking. Yeah, absolutely. The, the stag, for me, I mean... It hits you pretty hard, which I think is why I lean towards the cigar blend a little bit more. Uh, I know you love the oh, flavor. Oh, for me, the, the stag is everything. just like a sweet kiss from the freaking heavens above. It's amazing. Um, I, I just, I can't love these two bottles enough. They yeah. are absolutely incredible. Um, so anyways, that's our Reddit challenge for the year 2023. Let us know down below, guys, what your ones are. And Pat, what do you say we challenge a couple channels real quick? Yeah, let's do it. Um, so Bad Axe Bourbon will challenge you, uh, Whiskey Corner, and the Bourbon Note. Let's see if we can get those guys to also give us their sort of updated Reddit challenge, uh, these five bottles. Thank yeah. you guys so much for following us along, everybody. Have a good day.